<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Perfectly Just Tony's YouTube channel. If you guys are new, let me get to know you guys. If you guys are existing, welcome back. It's I'm, it's really good to see you guys. All right, guys. So we're gonna try to make this video a, not short, but we're gonna keep it in the middle. Maybe like I'm gonna try to keep it at 20 minutes. Because this this is a very sensitive topic and stuff like that, and it requires you to um, get into details and stuff like that about a lot of things. This is a review, so of course it's going to be longer. If you guys want my honest opinion and my review and stuff like that, then it's going to be a little longer. Not 30 minutes, not going to waste that much time. But it is going to be longer, okay? I'm going to give you guys what you want to know. I'm going to give you guys what you're asking for, okay? So, um, I'm going to be reviewing a feminine product that I've been trying out for about two to three months that I'm impressed with. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be trying that out. Well, I've already tried it out. But I'm going to be reviewing it, okay? Now, if you guys are very sensitive, if you feel like you're very very sensitive to uh to you know talking about blood feminine hygiene or feminine parts and stuff like that tmi all that stuff like that this video likely is not for you okay right i love you i will see you in my next video okay all right so those of you who are still tuned um okay so i'm gonna be reviewing a product i'm not sure if you guys heard of it but it's a product, it's called the, oh look at that, nice huh? It's called the Soft Disc, it used to be formerly known as the Soft Cup, and it's um, trademarked by, um, what do you call it? It's trademarked by Flex Company, company distributed by the Flex Company. Now, I'm not sure if you guys seen um, a YouTube ad, I've seen it like a few times, it was this little Asian woman, you know, she's talking about how, you know, periods can be very uncomfortable and things like that. And then she introduced us to something called the Flex Cup. Well, this is the same thing. This is distributed by the same company. Only difference is instead of going online, you know, doing the subscription and getting it supplied three times a month or so on like that, wherever like that, and you, and you have access to it in the store instead of waiting on You can go directly to the store. I know that they don't have it at Walmart. To my knowledge, I've looked for it. I would not go buy it at Target because Target always charges at least $4, $5 more than what Walmart charges, the average price, what it should be. So they always charge more. I don't really mess with Target like that. Just saying, my opinion. Okay, so I go to Walgreens. That's where I get it from. I'm pretty sure they have a CVS too. But I go to Walgreens and, you know, I pick it up and I think it's about $11.99. Yeah, it's $11.99. And you get a, it's pretty good. It's not like the regular pad, so of course it can be a little bit more. But the things, what this thing can do, it goes a long way and stuff like that. So I, for the price, I'm not tripping about it. I don't mind purchasing it, okay? So, um, this, uh, this, uh, product, it's, okay, so it's made out of, um, it says, let's see what it says, okay. It says menstrual discs are the most comfortable and reliable alter alternative to tampons and pads, which is true. It's made of medical grade polymers. Soft disc is non-toxic, hypoallergenic, and made without natural latex or BPA, okay, which is good. Let me tell you about tampons. I used to wear tampons for a little bit, but then I stopped it because I just didn't like the whole idea of something being stuck up me that far. And the risk factors of it having bleach, dyes, parabens, um, you know, uh, all that stuff, all that bad stuff in there. They didn't want to claim it's organic. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Y'all just put the name on the box and change it up, but it's like it's still the same thing. Y'all not getting on no more of my coins, okay? Um, but yeah, so tampons are very, very, like, you can die. You can die from tampons, okay? Because there's this thing called the TSS, toxic shock syndrome, okay? And this thing 
it can cause you to have fever, body aches, and just like your body can go to like down a spiral and you die from this if you have this thing too long. So when you have those tampons up there, you know, you're not supposed to leave it in for more than two hours. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you're not supposed to leave it in for more than two hours because you run the risk at contracting the TSS. And what happens is while you have that plugged up, all that blood and stuff is absorbing. It gives a chance for, you know, it's moist and stuff like that, warm and stuff like that. That bacteria, which is called staph for short, it's a long word, staph, it, you know, attaches to the, um, the tampon and before you know it, that bacteria builds up and before you know it, TSS, okay? You don't want that, okay? So, now with pads, it's a little bit less risky. You still can develop TSS, but it's very, very unlikely too. Now, the thing why I don't like pads is because pads, um, you know, I started wearing pads. I started a menstrual white right around when I was like about 11, 11 years old. Yeah, I was 11 when I started. And, you know, I was comfortable with it and stuff like that. Um, but once I started to get a little older, you know, and so I started to be more self-conscious and aware of what was going on with my body and stuff like that. Then that's when I started to be like, you know, this ain't for me. Another thing is, you know, um, when you're wearing them, it feels like you're wearing a freaking diaper. Like, a grown person wearing a diaper, okay? Like, I know every woman experiences this, okay? One, when you sneeze, cough, or laugh hard. This is what's going to happen. Okay, let me tell you what's going to happen. It's going to travel from the front. You're going you gonna to feel it squeeze out. It's going to travel from the front, and it's also going to travel to the back. That is the most uncomfortable feeling in the world. No woman wants to feel that, okay? I get tired of feeling that, but that's when you have a pad on, and it's, it's just gross, okay? no, Nobody wants to feel that, and that's why well, the big reason why I decided to get rid of those. Another thing is... At nighttime, you're, I don't really feel as secure with a pad on at nighttime because, you know, you're moving around and stuff like that. Knowing me, I like to move around and stuff like that. You can sleep on your belly, blah, 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 okay? You move around and stuff like that, and then you wake up, and it leaks through, and before you know, you got to stay on a sheet. So when your man wakes up and he sees that, he's like, is that what I think that is? And you're like, hmm, yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and take these sheets off and go, you know, go ahead and wash them off, you know, with some gain or something from Tide, you know. Uh, but yeah, nobody wants that. But with this, let me show you guys what it comes in. So it comes in this package. I opened it for you guys. I'm going to place it back because we're not wasting anything. We're not wasting no coins, okay? But it comes in this little cute little purple little pack, okay? My favorite color. Purple means royalty. It's for royalty. Okay, so it comes in this, you tear it open, okay, and it looks like this, okay? Let me zoom in for you guys, focus, oh, you like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it comes like this, okay? Just like that. And um, I've already told you guys what it's made out of, it's not plastic or anything like that. No, no risk of contracting TSS or anything like that. So it's very flexible, okay? It moves with the curve of your vagina, the, you know, the um, vaginal canal and stuff like that. What you do is when you place it in, you squeeze it, okay? So let's imagine you're about to do this, okay? So when you do this, my tip is um, you can either sit on the toilet and do it. Do not squat down, none of that stuff. Sit on the toilet and do it is the best thing for me. What? what it says on the box, okay, or on the instructions. Or for some women who like to lie down on their back and stuff like that, put a towel down or whatever like that. And, you know, you can um, you can do it that way. But I recommend, you know, you don't always have a bed nearby. So, you know, if you're in public in a restroom, then this is the best option to do with the toilet. Now, if you don't mind getting your hands a little messy and a little blood on there or whatever like that, then you should be fine. Wash it off, disinfect your hands, you should be fine. But if you're comfortable, I'm not going to lie, you are going to have to dig up in there and stuff like that. But you should know your body, you're older enough and stuff like that, you should know your body, you know, and be comfortable with, 
you know, doing this. Um, so me, I know my body and stuff like that. So um, this isn't really too much of an issue for me. So what you do is you squeeze it like this, okay? Don't let it go. So you go in not upwards, because if you go upwards, you're gonna hit your vaginal wall. You don't want that. So, you know, you're going in, right, okay? You're going downward, and when you feel like you can't go down anymore, then what you're gonna do is, okay, you're, you're there at the, at the little part. You're gonna feel for your pubic bone. You're gonna do like a hooking motion, right? And you're gonna tilt it up. So when you tilt it up, it's gonna pop out, right? It's popped out, tilt it up. And what you do with that is you're gonna create that suction, that suction, right? Okay, that's what you want. It's gonna be covering your cervix where the blood comes out, it catches that and stuff like that. Now you guys probably think, oh my God, this thing is huge. The vagina and the uterus, well, the whole thing right there is capable of a lot of things. If we can carry an eight, nine, 10, 11, some women go to 11 pound, um, pound baby, then what makes you think we this thing can't fit in here? Your vagina is like an elastic band, you know, like an elastic rubber band. It stretches out and it goes back to its natural form, shape, and small size, okay? So don't worry about, oh, is this thing going to be able to fit in me? I promise you, um, you'll be fine. I like this thing because I don't feel anything. I can go about my day like nothing's there. So on the box, I'm going to read you some of the things it says on the box, okay? It says it can be worn for up to 12 hours. So quick, put it in at 12 a.m., take it out at 12 p.m. Put it in at 12 p.m., take it out at 12 a.m., okay? You, so it, there's 24 hours in a day. That means you put two on a day, okay? So, you know, you should be fine. It's not like we're taking the pad off, several pads on, putting it on, tampons, two hours, take it off, or you worrying about the risk of contracting TSS. No, no, you don't have to worry about that because this stuff is not linked. And the review said as well, but it's not linked to TSS. So you don't have to worry about that. It's like you're not really on your period, okay? Another good thing is, is that I heard, I heard from what the thing says, it reduces menstrual cramps. Now me, I really can't comment too much on that part because I started at 11 until this day um, at the age that I am. I'm not going to say because if a woman doesn't reveal her age. But let's just say I'm over 18. But um, I don't get cramps, okay, till this day. Even after having my son, I still don't get cramps, okay? Um, so, but it does say reduces cramps, okay? That is good for all my women out there who do experience crucial pain, um, you know, uh, cramps and stuff like that. This reduces it. So that's another thing. Pads, tampons, I've never heard of it reducing anything, okay? Cramps, no. So, um, that's another good thing about this product. Uh, so for all my women who, uh, you know, who are out there who are very active, who like to go to the gym and stuff like that. Sorry guys, during quarantine, we're really pretty much on lockdown, so no gym. But if you still are active in the house, all my moms and stuff like that, if you're working out, um, and, and things like that, this is really good because it's like, it's not there. It moves with your body and stuff like that. So you can you can be pretty active with this. You can do squats. Only thing I would say, only con I would say that I don't like about it is that like let's say if you you know go number two during the day or whatever like that, you know you're straining and you know they're all connected. You have a JJ butt and all that. All is connected. So when you're straining or whatever like that, it can kind of make it push down a little bit, you know? So that's the only thing I don't like, but it doesn't come out. But you'll feel it, you'll feel it moving, okay? But it won't necessarily drop out. That's the only thing I don't like, okay? And that's when I'm aware that, like, it's there. But once, you know, you clean stuff up, it's like it's not there again. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I really can't find any more cons. This video is not sponsored. I just started my channel, like, not even two weeks ago. So I'm not being sponsored at all. I can't. So yeah, but I do, um, another thing that I do like about the product is that, um, it can be worn overnight. 
So like I was saying before about staining your sheets, you don't have to worry about that. If you guys, like, this is what I recommend. Since I know it already, I've experienced it. If it's your first time actually trying the product, if, you, if it's your first time actually trying the product and stuff like that, and you want to be 100% sure, do like I did. I wore, I wore a small panty liner um, in my underwear just to make sure and test it to see if this thing was going to leak out. Because if it, okay, so if you do check your underwear and you see that it has leaked out, that means you don't have it on properly and the suction is not there. So um, I ended up correcting it when I did it wrong the first time. I corrected it and I didn't have any of those issues and stuff like that. I didn't have nothing, not one drop of blood in my panty liner. So I was pretty much like, you know, good and fine and whatever like that. So, but just for your security, you can wear one just in case. Um, it says that it helps prevent menstrual odor. Menstrual odor. Okay, so menstrual odor. Now, any woman who experiences a period, don't, do not say that you don't. If you don't, bless your heart, okay? But a period does not smell like Summer's Eve, okay? Summer's Eve is just a make-believe thing that your yoni is supposed to smell like this and, and it should be fine. No. No, 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 no. It's not supposed to smell like cake. It's not supposed to smell like peach cobbler, pe you know, stuff like that. It's not supposed to smell like that, okay? But you do have a smell. You know, it's not like you regularly, you know, cut yourself wherever like that. And um, how can I say it? You cut yourself and, you know, it doesn't have a smell. The blood doesn't have a smell. But with period blood, it's different because my strong opinion, I'm not an OBGYN or whatever like that. My strong opinion, I feel like your menstrual cycle is not only your uterine, your uterine line shedding because you didn't, you know, conceive and stuff like that. But I also feel like it's a, de a natural detox that your body is doing. So it's getting all that bad stuff out, all that bad stuff, like including like, like stuff that you drink like that, you know, stuff that you drink and eat and stuff like that, all that bad stuff that shouldn't be there. Your body's dragging that down, okay? Once a month, it cleanses itself, okay? Um, just like, you know, like I've seen it where these um, girls on YouTube, they're getting these little yoni pearls and they're stuffing them up there and it's putting all these natural herbs and stuff like that and then it detoxes and it gets all this bad stuff out of you and all this ugh, gross stuff comes out right okay same thing right so it's pretty much you know the same thing in my opinion it's the same thing your body's cleansing itself so um that's that's good that's why it smells that way so don't be alarmed you know you can we're so sure that it's normal, my opinion. Um, but yeah, so this thing reduces menstrual odor, which is good. That is a plus for me because nobody want to be walking past somebody feeling very self-conscious and aware that someone can smell you. You don't want that, okay? But I already found something for that anyway, so you won't be smelling me, okay? Um, does not cause irritation or dryness. I like them pads and them tampons, and especially the tampons. I'm coming for your neck, okay? I'm coming for your neck, tampon. Tampons all up in there, absorbing everything, taking up all your natural juices and stuff like that, your natural fluids, fluid, uh, fluids and stuff like that, drying you out and stuff like that. Nobody likes sandpaper vagina, okay? No, sis, it's not cute. Nobody want no sandpaper vagina, okay? No, okay? It's not cool. So this doesn't dry you up. Well, out. It doesn't irritate you. It's high. It's it's hyper hyper hypo. I'm tripping. And hyper hypo in the medical term. I'm in the medical field. Hypo is low. Hyper is high. Okay. So like hypertension and hy hypotension. Hypo low. Blood, high blood pressure and hyper high blood pressure okay but yeah whatever okay so it's hypo so 
hypoallergenic, so it's not allergenic at all. I haven't had any problems, you know, down there, and my stuff can be very, very sensitive. But I haven't had any of those, you know, um, ties with irritation and things like that. So that's another good thing. How y'all like in my background? Y'all see my Mac and stuff like that? See that? Okay, and see my Sephora? Can you see my, you can't see it all, but see my Juvia's place up there? Mm-hmm. Shout out to Juvia. Okay, and y'all probably can see that part, but that's not more of you up there because I love some more of you, okay? Oh, y'all want me to, okay. Anyways, but yeah, guys, um, I've tried this thing. Um, I personally love it. Um, I haven't had any issues. Um, no, no issues at all whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to continue to use this product. If you guys, you know, uh, you know, have any questions, make sure you do comment down below because I need to see what's going on because like I've been seeing all these views and stuff like that, but no new subscribers. So I'm like, okay. What am I doing wrong? You know, like, you know, what's going on? That's why I want you guys to comment down below and, you know, tell me, you know, what's up. Like the video, you know, something like that so I can know, like, you know, that I'm doing something right. Okay? I am a small YouTuber. Not I'm going to say small YouTuber. I'm a growing YouTuber. Okay? Trying to expand my channel, you know, and stuff like that. So, if you guys don't make yourself known, how will I ever know what I'm doing wrong or right? So yeah, um, but yeah, guys, I wanted to say, um, a few more things and then I'm about to get ready to cut this video, um, short, um, but about the cramps, like I was saying before, I never really experienced cramps, so I can't come in too much. But for those who really do experience, I'm not going to say, I'm not, it's a very close person to me. I'm not going to say her name or whatever like that. But I, she would, I know her, she would get very, very, like, she would get periods twice a month. Twice a month, I know. She would get periods twice a month and she would be in crucial, crucial pain. And I just literally wanted to like grab, you know, grab her cramps and just you know, put them in me so I could really feel them because I couldn't relate to her, like, you know, and stuff like that. And I just really wanted to just take her pain away. And I hated to see her in pain. She would be vomiting just like a whole nightmare. No woman should be able to bear what she was going through. And so, um, knowing that this is a product that actually works with your body, you know, doesn't dry it out and stuff like that, doesn't irritate it and doesn't, and actually reduces, um, You know, actually, I was reading something, but actually reduces cramps. Like, that's heaven. That's heaven. So imagine if you're using that, that re something that reduces cramps, taking your Midol, Aleve, or Advil, and stuff like that, Midol, all those things, Pamper, I think it's called Pamper. Okay, yeah, but taking those things, and then imagine not experiencing any cramps, not feeling nothing moving inside you, none of those things. That's good, like. I feel like this product is actually beneficial to women and I feel like the whole um, old school way of the, the century, I feel like it's changing and you know companies are upping their game, they're changing things just like for example um, the deodorants, um, the deodorants that contain aluminum in them, they were saying that, um, they were saying that um, they were saying that, now, you know, women, we have our breasts, right? And, you know, when you put deodorant on here, that travels down. And all of a sudden, they said it was linked to women contracting um, contracting uh, breast cancer. I mean, come on. Right here. they like very close together, right? Kind of makes sense, right? Okay. So now all of a sudden, now that the companies are getting sued and all this stuff like that, people are actually starting to notice and recognize what's really going on. Um, these companies, when you go to the store, now you're starting to see aluminum-free deodorant and stuff like that, which that's Once again, you guys can get this at your, um, you know, 
it's not in the box. I took it out. I put it in my little pouch thingy, like my little box thing over there, my whole menstrual period feminine hygiene stuff. But it comes in a box like this. Okay, and um, you guys can get it at Walgreens for like eleven ninety nine. Um, but I do love this product and I was very, I'm very happy. I was, and I am very happy to share, to have shared this product with you guys. Don't forget to interact with me. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video.